Businesses and neighbors surrounding the Flathead Warming Center brought complaints to the city that led to the review and revocation of the permit for the Flathead Warming Center. Some of the main complaints brought forward were not feeling safe at businesses, loitering, and littering. That was my concern from the very beginning, was that my place that I felt comfortable would not feel comfortable. It's weird to have like all of a sudden this comfort zone where I just left work and now I like I'm locking the door and I'm looking both ways and and it, worrying. Atlee, a part owner of a salon next door to the warming center, spoke in opposition of the warming center at city council meetings. And although she wanted the permit revoked, she knows this will have an impact on the homeless community. I struggle with that because I know that there's a need. Um, but my, for my own safety and my own business um, client safety and um, how I feel about the surrounding area, that's what I wanted but I also know that that's not a solution. The Kalispell city manager, Doug Russell, says the city council's decision was not an action against homelessness, but rather on the components of the conditional use permit. You know, we're looking out at the full uh, component throughout the city on, on any issue, you know, it's just not for one specific segment. And that's why we have zoning code, you know, and that pertains for the protection of the city as a whole, including a specific neighborhood within that relative zone and you know that's just the responsibility that the city has. With the permit's revocation, the warming center will no longer be able to provide overnight shelter for the homeless during the winter, removing one of the limited resources for homeless people in the Flathead Valley. You know, we'll do the same thing we did before the warming center was in existence, even while it was in existence, and now is that we refer to people that we find in whatever circumstance they're in to the most appropriate resource that is available. The warming center can operate in some capacity based on the building's zoning. What that operation consists of is unknown, and according to Russell, the warming center will need to connect with the city's planning and zoning department to figure out what services they can provide. Uh, if they have questions, we would work with any entity in terms of what are uses by right within that particular zone. So if they have questions related to that, just like any other entity, all they need to do is contact our planning and zoning office to understand what those uses by right are within any specific zone. In Kalispell, Kiana Wilson, MTN News.